Well, the insulator has finally showed up and we've got uh, the camper moved outside, everything cleaned up and ready for them. They actually said it's one of the uh, cleaner sites that they've been on. They said most people don't uh, clean up the way we did. We've got everything swept and the bays vacuumed out and most things covered up. Um, they're going to go ahead and put uh, paper down on the ground and cover up the garage doors with plastic and get the spray and they're just prepping that right now. Um, because of the fumes, I don't know if I'll be able to get in and uh, do any videoing while they're spraying. But I've got the GoPro uh, set up, so hopefully I can just set it in there and have them do a time lapse. But I'm um, kind of a little nervous because, you know, when I do things, I'm pretty particular in, uh, in how they're done. And other people are kind of sloppy, so um, hopefully this will go good. But judging by how their ladders look and things like that, there's a lot of overspray and splatter. So I'm really hoping that this goes over okay and doesn't um, leave me with one heck of a mess to clean up. So, I don't know, but it's happening finally.
one of the insulating is over, the spray foaming. It is one heck of a mess. Luckily the paper is pretty much going to catch everything, but up there is pretty much what I expected. Um, smell wise, it just smells like paint. It smells like someone's been painting in the garage. Not a big deal there. I didn't really get very far in the downstairs living area at all. Uh, they just started around the corner over here on uh, the stairwell. Upstairs. Uh, the power room's pretty much done, which I'm glad. Um, so up here, everything's filmed. I'm supposed to get five inches. And I called the company because some of this is not five inches. I think the ceiling's pretty good though. Because this is a 12 inch. 11 and 70 is basically 12 inches, so it may be right there. I've measured that maybe a little bit shy. Maybe not. I don't know. It's hard to tell. He goes, Well, some parts are more than five inches, and some parts are less. I said, I know, but I'm paying for five inches continuous, <laughs> so I want five inches continuous. For example, this is a two by four wall. If it's a two by four wall and they shave it off, all of this should be smooth. It should look like this. And it's not. So he said to go get some. Holy cow, it's warm up here. Whew. When they spray it, it comes out at 125 degrees. So it's quite toasty up here right now. So this, you know, this spraying looks pretty good. Um, it may be a little area there that's a little shy but when they shave this off you know go back to an area that they shaved see like right here i can definitely tell that this is not five inches you know if i were to put a level across here and measure back that's not going to be a five let's just look at some areas where they have shaved off i know what this is i think they killed someone and then they covered him up with foam I'll go back here to the bathroom. So again, this is a two by six wall, so it's five and a half inches. You know, most of this is probably pretty acceptable. A little nervous about some of these gaps here. That's pretty good. That's probably a little less. There's another hole going back in there, which I watched when he sprays it and he shoots the actual corner and then it foams up in there. So I know it's sealed back inside there, but still. Some of these areas just seem like they should have more foam in it. So here's a good example. You know that is pretty stinking far in there. You know that's my whole width of my or depth of my fingers there. I can go in. So I'll definitely mark that spot. I'll probably mark around the back of there. Here too. I've got that's not five inches. That's probably only two and a half, three inches maybe up there at the top. Same thing. So. Now that's two by fours up there, and that's covered. But we have a good way to measure that. You're supposed to take a, um, see here again. Look how far I can get my fingers in there. But it's soft. You know, this is open cell. And so I ended up going with open cell because there's another area right here where it's definitely not five inches. But open cell will breathe a little bit. Um, well, not much. You get over three inches, it's not supposed to be have any air penetration at all. But if it do, if I do get a roof leak, this will um, it'll soak through it. I notice these explosions, like when I spray, it goes and blows up. You get these cavities in there. Anyways, it definitely feels different and it definitely sounds different up here. There's not an echo um, like there used to be. So tomorrow they'll be back to uh, hit the rest of the ceiling. Uh, living room's pretty much done except for the ceiling area. So girls' rooms are pretty much done. 
There's another, this is a two by four wall here. And again, that should be, I, mean, I guess that's not bad, but I still think it should be filled in a little more, but. What are you gonna do? That's all fine. It's a little, come there. So anyways, it'll probably tick the workers off, but you know, this is not cheap to do. Uh, paying for five inches, I want five inches. So I'm gonna go run to the store and get some spray paint and get some marking before it gets too dark. Yeah, this is what I expected it to be. You know, this is pretty consistent all the way across. You know, I didn't expect to see holes here. I can reach. I oh, mean, I can get my fingers way back in there. It's like if you're not supposed to have any of your warm air hitting the outside, that could be a problem. And make sure that that doesn't happen like that because you get condensation. See here too. I'm trying to get my fingers in there. So, well, I got about an hour of sunlight, so I gotta run out and get her done.